with the faith of a mustard seed, you can move a mountain, you know. And, and, and as humans, you know, we all got a mountain. Everybody got to face that mountain. Everybody got something, something in their life. Everybody got a calling on their life, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I said on the, I think I said that on the first biblical, man, if I, I'm a firm believer in like, if you got, if you know, you got a calling in your life, don't ignore God. Cause I mean, if you ignore God, you never know when it's too late. You know, I don't care what you do. Ain't none of us perfect. I ain't here to preach. I ain't here to try to make it seem like I'm holy. I'm just wanted to read a couple scriptures to y'all. That's all. Well, I'm going to skip down here where I say, for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. As those days, said the Lord, I will put my laws into their minds and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people and they shall not teach every man his neighbor and there should teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying know the lord for all shall know me for the least to the greatest i mean every knee shall bow every every mouth shall confess you know what i'm saying that jesus christ is lord and savior you know what i'm saying uh I'm not here to preach to nobody and nothing like that. I just wanted to share a couple of scriptures with y'all. I'm, I'm repeat that, you know. I'm not holier than thou and nothing like that. But I do. It's not a day to go by in my life that I'm not trying to acknowledge God. I mean, that's just me. I guess I'll read one more scripture. I'll skip down here to, uh, to 9. Let me see where I'm going to start at. For there was a tabernacle made, the first wherein was the candlestick and the table and the showbread, which is called the sanctuary. And after the second veil, the tabernacle, which is called the holiest of all. That's that cup, you know what I'm saying? When you're drinking that cup, when they put the wine in the cup, that's supposed to be like the blood. And then the, the the bread, you know what I mean? That's the that's the body of Christ, you know what I'm saying? That's the church, that's his body, you know what I'm saying? You know, that's why we uh give holy communion, you know what I mean? Some churches don't do it though, but I feel like all churches should do that, you know what I'm saying? That's just a way to acknowledge God. You know what I'm saying? A way to acknowledge him dying and, and shedding his blood for the for the forgiveness of our sins. You know, and there, and there was no other way. There was no other way, you know. If there was any other type of way, trust and believe. Hey, if it was an easy route, you know what I'm saying? It, I'm pretty sure God, I mean, God created all. If it was an easier route, he would have took it. So he gave his only begotten son because he loved us, you know what I'm saying? And he shed his blood on the cross at Calvary and died for our sins. And, I mean, you I mean, even the hardest core gangsters, can, you can find some of the hardest core gangsters, you know what I'm saying? Even even them, you know what I'm saying? Somewhere in their life, they're going to call on God or, you know what I'm saying? They're going to pray and, and fall down to their knees and repent, you know, because ain't nobody perfect. But, yeah, I just wanted to give y'all, like I said, I'm going to bring y'all all kind of content. I just want to give y'all a couple Bible verses. Y'all can find them in Hebrews chapter 6, verses 8 through 9. Uh, I'm not going to go into it too much, but like I said, man, seek thee first the kingdom of heaven and all these things will be added. Now, we look at revelations and we see things that's going on in the world that, you know what I'm saying, that, that, was, that was prophesied, you know what I'm saying, that was predicted. And we see things going on, so why I'm not going to believe the rest of the Bible? If I see some things in the Bible that's true, then I got to believe if seek thee first the kingdom of heaven and all these other things will be added, you know? Man, put God first, man. And your life, man, and everything else will fall into place, you know? And, and that's why, I, you know what I'm saying? That was my downfall, you know what I'm saying? I put God first, but it's it's even harder to keep God first in your life, you so. Not just put him first. You can put him first. Everybody backslides. You got to keep God first, you know what I'm saying, in your life, no matter what. Not your kids, not your wife, not your brother, not your sister, not your mother, not your father, 
none of your relatives, not your best friend, not nobody. You know what I'm saying? Put God first and, and see don't, you know what I'm saying? Seek thee first the kingdom of heaven and see don't all these other things and be added. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a prime example of that. When you look at me, you know what I'm saying? You can see the God's light shining through me, man. You can see it, man. Like, hard work pay off, you know what I'm saying? No matter what you do, man. Everybody stay blessed, man. And uh, I just, you know, I pray for everybody, you know what I'm saying? Everybody. Not, I pray for my enemies, you know what I'm saying? I pray for them. Pray for everybody, man. Just, you know, we living in biblical time, periods times. That's what the Bible call them, periods times. You know what I'm saying? And coronavirus, uh, a president that seems like he don't care about nothing but but his dictatorship, being a dictator, you know what I'm saying? The times that we living in is really, you know what I'm saying? Really taking a toll, especially on American society. But uh, everybody stay blessed out there, man. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Get in your word, man. Now's the time to get in your word. I heard people talking about now's the best time to get rich. And now is the people chasing out the riches, man. Seek thee first the kingdom of heaven and riches to chase after you. You know what I'm saying? He said he will open more. He will open the windows of heaven and pour out more blessings than you can even with store. You know what I'm saying? Than even you can store. So, you know, man, I, I just... I urge anybody, you know what I'm saying, if you used to read the Bible and you backslid and you, I mean, and the devil, you know what I'm saying, get in all of us at times, man, I, 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 I tell anybody, man, get back in that word, man, get back in the God, man, it's, it's that time, you hear me, the people need to start putting their faith back in God and don't put your faith in your job or your career or nothing, you know what I'm saying, Man, nothing nowadays, man. You you got to keep your faith in God, man. Almighty, man. Almighty, man. Not people, not the preacher, not the pastor, not the Jehovah Witnesses that's knocking on your door. Man, put your faith in God, man, because everything else fails. We even fail ourselves, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's humans, man. Put your faith in God, man. And everybody stay blessed, man. I'm up out of here, man. But I will, you know what I'm saying, continue to bring y'all content.